So I'm here with Julie Hunter, who's one of the artists out at Art in the Paddock. So how long, Julie, have you been painting for? Oh, I've been painting for over 30 years. I'm professional. Mm. Yeah, it's just not a hobby. Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> and we've got some of your beautiful works in the background here. Yeah. And um, so what? Um, what's your favourite animal to paint? Oh, or subject um, yeah. in the animal world. It's probably birds. Yep. Yes, I think they're closer to heaven than we'll ever be. Yeah. So, yeah. And there's just so much, much beauty in how they fly and yeah. so on, isn't there? Yeah, the colours. Mm. Yes, I just love it. Yes. Okay. And um, my painting doesn't stay stationary; it moves. You know, I'd started painting a certain subject and did a lot of that, and then I. I sort of move on to other subjects. I never know. Yep. I do trees a lot. Yep. Trees. Yeah. You never know what's going to take your fancy no, next. Well, it just comes from somewhere. I don't yeah. know where it comes from. It just, well, it's growth as yeah. an artist as yeah. well. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, no, that's great. And uh, how's it been today? Well, a lot of interest. A lot of people are interested, and I've met a lot of nice people, and there's a lot of variety here. So mm. I think there's something something for, for everyone yeah. and looking around at the crowd there's a great sort of broad age yeah. age range isn't there yes exactly well there's a nice ice cream stand there <laughs> <laughs> and as it gets warm and humid <laughs> after yesterday's rain i'm sure they'll be popular yeah. Yeah. <laughs> mm. okay now thank, thank you. you for your time you and so um much. good luck with all your paintings thank today you. yes i've already got a commission so that's lovely excellent mm. thank you thank I'm here with Emma Scott, who's another artist out at Art in the Paddock, and her art artwork page is called M Jane Artworks. So, um, your pictures there look amazing. How long have you been an artist or drawing? Oh, for as long as I can remember. Um, yeah, just picked up the crayon and off I went. Yeah. So pretty young age. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and you're Clarence Valley based? Yeah. Yeah. Just outside. Yeah. Okay, so um, I do see some paintings. Um, it's what's your favourite medium to work with? Um, I really like oil paint and uh, a bit of charcoal as well mixed in there. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. So I love that picture of the horse over the back there. That's gorgeous. So Thank what you. what mediums have you used for that one? Uh, so that one I've used um, just oil paint, yep. um, but I sketched it out with a uh, bit of charcoal beforehand. Mm. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. So your your work looks to be kind of have a bit of a ruralish sort of theme yeah, with the, yeah. the the horses, the dogs, the the, the fences. Yeah. Um, so you're inspired by the country. Yeah. So I've got horses of my own. Um, I do a lot of camp drafting. Yep. Um, so that's sort of where I get my inspiration from. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. And, um, yes, yeah, so um, people can find you on... Um, so, yeah, I've got MJ Artworks on Facebook. Um, but, yeah, pretty much that's about it so far. <laughs> and are you having a great day today? Yeah, really good. This is my first time out here. Um, it's just great. I've met lots of people and some people I know already, so it's great. Okay, great. Thanks for your time today. Thank you. <laughs> I'm here with Bruce Seach, he's a local Clarence Valley artist and we've got some of his lovely paintings behind us here. Thanks for having a chat to us today. No trouble. Um, okay, so what part of the Clarence Valley are you in? Well, I'm from Yamba. You're from Yamba. Yep. And um, so how long have you been uh, painting for? Since, uh, well I'm not going to tell you when it was because <laughs> since I retired <laughs> and before COVID. Okay, okay, so <laughs> relative. Relatively, Relatively new. Relatively oh, well, Back to it. I used to paint some time ago. But okay. Gave it away for a long time. Work, oh, retirement's work fantastic, it isn't is it? It is the best. The best, yes. Gives you time to do things yeah. that you might have exactly. given up over the years yeah. due to work. Yeah. Plus, painting is a very relaxing, time-consuming thing. So, you know, it's a good way to, to not use up my last years. <laughs> time-consuming, yes, but I guess it's also, it's, it's not a cheap pastime either no, when, no. You, when you get into your good quality products and That's so right. on. Yeah, no, it so. can be expensive. Framing is expensive and paints are expensive these days, yes. So, no, it's not mm. cheap, but mm. it's good fun. Good enough fun to make it all worthwhile. 
And I understand you and some other artists have yep. got an exhibition next weekend. Would you like to mention yes, who uh, they are and where that is? Yes, we've got Sky McKenney and Pam Fish and Jude McBean all having, and here's Sky Oh, here's, Sky okay, McKinney so right here's here. Sky now. Yeah. Okay, and so you tell us what's happening next weekend, then okay. we'll have a quick chat okay. to Sky. Yes, it's all happening at the Kirk um, Histor Historical Society Gallery in, in Yamba at uh, 5 o'clock on Saturday afternoon. Um, four artists, about 40 or 50 paintings, um, and then it's on for a month in okay. the gallery. Yep. Excellent. And um, so how would you describe your, your style? I've seen a couple of different sort of styles. So yeah, what my, do you like best? My style is pretty much in your face, big, colourful um, conversation piece. So when you walk in somebody's house, they've got my painting on the wall, they're going to talk about it. So yep. Yeah, you'll I'm notice playing. it. It's that's not right. going to blend into the... That's not going to blend Not going to blend into the couch. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, if you're going to get a piece of artwork, why not? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. So, um, so, yeah, I'll just ask Sky a couple of questions. Okay. So, yeah. So, are you enjoying the day out oh, here Oh, look, today? it's such a lovely atmosphere. Mm. The art in the paddock is all. This is my third art in the paddock. Really um, enjoy the day. Yes. And I play a bit of, sing a bit of music as well. I'm doing uh, that shortly. Oh, so you're getting up not only uh, an artist, so paintings? <laughs> I paint. So, you paint? Um, minor... <laughs> there <laughs> and at the back um, so the, what I've brought today is local scenes the Yamba lighthouse um, Palmer's Channel fishing boats um, mm. that's, so you, you that's get your inspiration from the your local, local surroundings yes yeah yeah I do so and having moved to Yamba from the tablelands it's quite different okay so, so how long have you been a a Clarence yeah, Valley, right, Clarence Valley um, permanently five years. Yep, excellent. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're um, part of the upcoming exhibition? Part of the exhibition with the four of us and um, very much looking forward to that. It's the first time I've exhibited officially. Okay, <laughs> wow. So, um, breakout it's, exhibition. It's exciting. It's a breakout and exhibition. And it's a lovely um, teamwork thing that we have, you know, bouncing off each other. It's okay, nice. that's yep. wonderful. Yep. Okay. If either of you got anything else that you'd like to add? Uh, no, we'd just love to see you there. Okay. Come well, one, come all. Yeah. Oh, definitely. <laughs> so that's from, from next... What? Next Saturday next. afternoon, 5 o'clock. 1st yep. of April, and yep. it runs through to the end of April. Okay. And that was, can you just say, where, where was it again? At the Yamba Historical Society. Yes. Called the Kirk. It's a... It's a yeah, it's a... It's an old church that they've attached yeah. to the museum. Okay. And that's the actual gallery. Wonderful. Yep. Thanks for your time today. Okay. okay. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So I'm here with Ian McSwan, and he is a blacksmith, which is something you not so many around these days, is there? <laughs> no, no, it's not real common these days. Yeah, it's once upon a time it used to be. Well, yeah, yeah. They needed them more in the past, didn't <laughs> yeah, they? When we yeah. didn't have tyres on our cars, and <laughs> they were like mechanics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, that, yeah that, they're like how mechanics they can fix anything. Yeah, more or less. Yeah. Yep. And um, so you've got a few things here. You've got a yeah. a, a field of poppies and a field of a, butterflies a of and um and a copper. And the copper ball there in the yeah. middle, that's yours as well. So you've got that's some that. simpler pieces and yeah. some and the, and really the complex lotus flower pieces. Up the back there, yeah. Yeah, yeah. they yeah. Um, look amazing. Oh, How thank many you. hours work? I was just trying to see past the cameraman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How many hours work do you reckon went into the uh, ball there? Oh, the ball, oh, I'd probably go about, two, about 250. Wow. It's about 250 hours there. I don't really count. With, with yeah, your, when you're an artist, <laughs> you, you can't count. No, no, can you? no you really can't count. It really does take a long time to uh, do things. Yeah, they're, they're all hand hammered and they're all hand cut and, and then they've got to be texted and, and, and then put together too. Yes. Yeah, 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 put it all together. Yeah, but, but uh, it, 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 well, it's nice work. The copper is nice and easy to, mm. to uh, you know, compared to uh, steel. Yep. Yeah, yeah. It's, yep. it's a lot easier to do. And you're enjoying your day out here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been really good. Yeah, 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 yeah. The weather's been kind to us. And yeah, yeah. The, 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 they've got a good display. You know, there's a big variety in there mm -hmm. of, of, uh, of uh, stalls and that. Yeah. No, and uh, where can people find you if people are interested in, in your artwork? In Grafton. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Have you got... 
any social media or no, they not just really, no. track just, you down on the phone or something? Just track you down on the phone, yeah. Old yeah, school? Yeah, yeah, old school. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's sort of just a bit of a hobby. Yep. Now, okay. Yeah. Now, yeah, 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 yeah. But okay, no, it's a, a very creative hobby. It's fantastic. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, so. it's, it, it's something different, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, it's got, you know, we belong to the New South Wales uh, Artist Blacksmith Association and, and we go around every month, you can go to a different venue and, and, and we usually demonstrate then. To, yep. Yeah, yeah, but we're not doing that today, but yeah. So we take all our tools and stuff, yeah, okay. and which, is, which is good. Oh, yep. Fantastic. Thank okay. you for your time today and no enjoy the rest of the afternoon. Thanks very much. Thank you. Well, Bye. Yeah. Bye. We're here with Linda Freiling Henderson, and uh, she's a, a fine artist. And we're standing at her uh, display at the Art in the Paddock. So, would you like to tell us what you do? Okay, um, I like to paint and draw from life. Um, as you can see, these are all my acrylic paintings. Uh, there's a couple of uh, drawings up the back, and then I also like to play with um, mosaic and, and jewelry. Um, which is completely different art form, but it's lots of fun. Yes, it is very yeah. different, isn't <laughs> yeah. it? And so what I've done is, this is actually the Iluka Mermaid. I don't know if you've heard of the Iluka Mermaid. I'm from Iluka. Okay. Um, no, she, tell us about the yeah, Iluka Mermaid. She sits on the rocks near the fishing co-op and looks out, uh, you know, after the fishermen. Um, and so I decided to make some silk screens from my artwork and I've printed them, hand printed them onto upcycled garments and then onto some bags. Mm. So that's the main part of my artwork. So you can see I've have got prints of my originals as well. Okay. Yeah. Wow, it looks like you have a lot of fun with your artwork. Yeah, it's part of me. It's, uh, you know, it, it comes from the heart. It's what I'm passionate about. Um, I'm actually a retired early childhood teacher, so now I can dedicate myself to what I love. Yeah, uh, <laughs> sounds like fun. Yeah. And um, so if anyone's interested in your Iluka Mermaid or any of your other artwork, how do they find you? Um, Iluka Emporium, uh, which is a community art space in Iluka. Okay. Yeah. I look in New South Wales on the other side of the river from Yamba. <laughs> <laughs> the okay. best side of the river. <laughs> <laughs> the best side of the river. Okay. And yeah, you're having a great day out here too. Yeah. Oh, the music is just beautiful and uh, the people have been lovely and so far the weather's been fine. So, so. far it did yeah. look a bit questionable, didn't it? It certainly did. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, thank you for your time. Thank and you. Um, enjoy the rest of your afternoon. I will. Thank you. I'm here with Katie D of Shiztastic. Hello. And um, we're again out at Art in the Paddock. And um, you've got some amazingly brightly coloured artwork. Oh, thank you. What's yes, your I inspiration? Don't shy away from the colour. Um, oh, look, i hugely inspired mainly by botanicals. I do lots of walking. I walk in the bush and in the ocean. And flowers generally just, yeah, like just, yeah, lots of. Botanica, flora, fun, Kendone, love Kendone. <laughs> yep. Yeah. And, um, okay, so how long have you been in the Clarence Valley? Well, I actually live in Coffs Harbour, so okay. I'm kind of You're not... Kind of I'm, I'm sneaking <laughs> in the bottom. The edge, yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I, I, yeah, I've been in Coffs about three years. Yep. Yeah. And um, so how long have you been painting? Oh, look, create, I've been very creative for a long time, but painting probably only the last five, six years. Mm. Mm. Okay. I also do lots of textiles and other crafty things. So, yeah, only been painting five or six years. Yes, I was looking at your artwork and thinking that they'd make great... Um prints on the fabric. Ah, oh, well, <laughs> funny you should say that. I do I do um, make lots of textile items, scrunchies and fabrics and yeah, so that can all be found on my website. <laughs> so your, some of your artwork is printed onto fabric? Yes, so what I do, I, I paint them, then I scan them and take them into Photoshop and then turn them into prints that then get printed onto fabric and then I make things with the fabric. Okay. Mm. And um, can people buy your fabric to make things or you just use it for your own, to turn your own fabric mm. into your own art pieces? Yes. Currently I don't sell fabric but there is a company in Sydney that you can buy my fabric through that are called digital fabrics. Okay. So yeah, but no, mainly at the moment I just sell the products. Because yeah, that's a more... 
That, that's a more recent thing, isn't it? Be, having the ability to turn your artwork into fabric for, mm. for someone that's not mass producing. Yeah, definitely. And look, it's not an easy, it's not an easy or a cheap thing to do. So it's it's still you know a bit hard. But um, yeah, it's definitely a different. It's a great way of seeing your your artwork on a different material. Mm. So yeah, 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 yeah it's fun. <laughs> Excellent. And um. How have you enjoyed your day here so far? Oh, it's been lovely. We actually came up Friday and made a weekend of it. We've been camping here all weekend. Well, you have been a bit worried about the weather then. Oh, yeah, last night was. <laughs> last night we got a bit wet. Uh, but luckily none of the art was out, so all good. It's, we've had a, it's beautiful. We did a big walk yesterday and, yeah, stunning, stunning area. Yeah, uh, yes, lovely. So we're, we're out at the Nimboida Camping Centre. Mm, so it's beautiful. It is a lovely area and there's a river just down Oh, yeah, the back. I went swimming in it yesterday, yeah. And how is the temperature? <laughs> glorious. <laughs> Fresh, but glorious. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And, okay, so people can... Is Shiztastic, that's yes, Instagram? Yes, Instagram, what's... Facebook, you can find me at Shiztastic. Yeah. Spelled S-H-I-Z-T-A-S-T-I-C. Magic, yeah. So Instagram. Duty by KDD. Yes. Fabulous. Okay. Thank you Wonderful. so much. Thanks for your time and enjoy the rest of your afternoon. Thank you. You too. Thank you. <laughs> See you. So I'm here with Holly Holster and we're at the Art in the Paddock and you've got some lovely, vibrant, mainly birds yeah, seems to be your you. inspiration. Yeah, I've got a few horses there as well, but I keep coming back to birds. Yeah. Is it the colour or what is it that you no, love about birds? No, just the shape. I love birds. They're, they're all Australian natives and I'm, yeah, I'm a bit obsessed with birds, but um, they just lend themselves to beautiful shapes for my style of art. Yeah, so... And do you live in an area where there's there's lots of those birds? Yeah, I live here actually in Nimboida. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah, so and I actually saw a um, white-bellied sea eagle the other day, which was pretty amazing. Yeah, so I'm always out there watching them. Yeah. yeah. No. It is a lovely area to live yeah, in. And it's been a, a great spot to have the art in the yeah, paddock today. Yeah, it's been great, yeah. And um, so how long have you been painting? Oh, all my life. My dad was an artist and I grew up in his gallery. Um, but as soon as I finished school, I moved to Melbourne to study art because it's all I wanted to do. So, yeah, 30 something years. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, okay. Now that sounds excellent. And have you enjoyed your day here? Yeah, it's been really nice. We were a bit iffy with the weather, but it's per turned out perfectly. Oh, yes, yes. As I was leaving Grafton this morning, it was sprinkling rain. Yeah. I'm coming out here, and I'm thinking, oh, no, this doesn't look good. Turned it up for us. It's been lovely. Yeah, I've met some great people who have had some sales, and yeah, it's been really nice. Mm. No, it's um, lovely, vibrant artworks that you've got there. They really sort of. Um, Inspired joy. Ah, oh, thank you. That's mm. nice. Nice compliment. Yeah, yeah. I really love colour, and I love to play with different colours together. And it seems to be the thing that people like about my work as well. Mm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and um, have you had any exhibitions? Yeah, I've. Yeah, I used to exhibit a lot when I lived in Melbourne. Um, my last exhibition was in Brisbane two years ago. Um, we've been travelling, me and my girls, a little bit since then, so I haven't had any in a while, but um, I mostly sell online and mm. on so through social media and things like that. Yeah. So speaking of online, um, what are your social media handles or where do people find you? Um, on Facebook, it's Holly Holster Art and Design and on Instagram, it's Holly Holster underscore art. Okay. Yes. Fantastic. Well, awesome. thank you for your time thank you. and enjoy the rest of your afternoon. Thank you very much. All right. <laughs> Thanks. So I'm here with Jack McLeod of Bonnie Bide. And so you're predominantly macrame artist or what, what's your... Yes, a mixture of arts, anything fibre art. So I do a lot of crocheting, macrame, weaving, spinning of yarn, felting. Yeah. Okay. Wow. So... Anything you can do with the fibre, you're doing it. Pretty much, yeah. I like to join them together to mesh to make more of a modern artworks. Yep, great. That sounds very interesting. And um, do you join in your mum's interest? Sometimes. Sometimes? <laughs> yeah. She's a good helper. She's a good helper. Yep. Well, hey, it's, it's great when they're good helpers. <laughs> and um, you've got some workshops coming up. Yes, through uh, iLuca Emporium, through a Stronger Communities grant. We've got some free workshops coming up for the community. 
There are a few, six different workshops. Uh, uh, excuse me. Um, macrame as well as weaving and they're hosted at Ferry Park Art Gallery in McLean. Okay, yeah, mm. that, that sounds really interesting. So um, where would people go to book into that? Uh, they can go to Aluka Emporium website and contact uh, Linda through there. Mm. Okay, mm. no, that sounds like a really interesting thing for people to do. So, mm. yeah. Um, I was noticing this piece here behind us. Um, do you want to tell us about that? Because that looks to have a few different fibres and... Yes, that's actually not finished, this one I've brought I it to... I thought that might have been the case. Yes, to work on today and um, on a bit of a time limit for that. That I'm doing a display in the McLean Framing and Gallery on River Street mm. for the plunge the month of April. Yep. I'll have that in the window, so I need it finished by April. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that's not very far away, is it? No, it's not. There's a lot of work still left on that. But yeah, I can I can see some crocheting and um, yes, and different sort of work in there. Yeah, crocheting. Um, there's um, weaving, uh, macrame, felting, and fabric manipulation using heat. And it looks like a bit of a, a inspired by the ocean. Yes, a bit of an abstract coral piece. Mm. Mm. Yeah, no, it looks beautiful. Um, so the plunge, what, what's the um, display that that's for? That's, that will be hanging in the window of McLean f uh, Framing and Gallery okay. shop. Yep. Uh, just for the month of April, part of the plunge festival. Okay, great. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Okay, and um, okay, so where do people find... Bonnie Bide and find out more about you um, online um, and so on. Predominantly on Instagram and yep. a bit of Facebook as well and it's uh, at Bonnie Bide. Okay, hmm. wonderful. So if anyone's interested in your work, they can find you there. Absolutely. Enjoy the rest of your afternoon. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I'm here with Aviva Reid, who is an, an artist. It would you say an I call myself a visual ecologist, so I'm not a visual artist, I visualise ecology. Okay, wow, that sounds really interesting. Do you want to expand on that? Sure. <laughs> so I've got here today, I've got some books that I um, have co-authored. They're called Small Friends Books, and they're books from a microbial perspective. So they go through an adventure through oceans or soil from the perspective of a microbial fungi, and they're pretty um, sort of science education, but at that art-science intersection. Okay, that sounds really interesting. So what sort of age group would you say your books are aimed at? Um, these books are for 5 to 500. They're yep. very dense, and, um, but they're also through story. Mm. So, and they've got the visual. So I've taken them to lots of schools, and yeah, everyone seems to be able to tap into them. Yeah, your artwork looks quite intricate. So, but I guess when you get down to that level of, uh, of the systems, yes. um, it, it's quite intricate to look at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Detail is definitely one of my things. <laughs> yeah. So are you uh, based in the Clarence Valley? Um, I'm based in Iluka actually, out of working out of Esk Studio. It's yep. like a new gallery studio that's popped up in Charles Street and it's got an ecological undercurrent. So all of these works here explore different ecological phenomena. So this one's about evolutionary ideas and geological time. Uh, there's a whole bunch of works in there about carbon and the carbon cycle, but they're all illustrated as a way to create conversations about ecology. Mm. So, um, as an ecological artist, what, what's your background? What's, uh, um, I, I, have you done art at university or ecology or is it self-taught or what's your background? I come from an ec ecological science background. Yep. Yeah, but I've ended up in environmental education. So this is science education now, and it's that interdisciplinary of the arts and the sciences. Mm. So it's probably makes science more interesting to kids and adults. Yeah. And adults. Yeah, yeah. it's more accessible. <laughs> to, it's um, science has done this thing where it sort of describes chemistry and rocks as dead, but in fact they're like deep time living um, organisms that make the world go around. So okay. yeah, yeah. Well, it sounds like you've got a very interesting job. <laughs> Yes.
it's yeah, it's a journey. <laughs> okay, excellent. And um, so, where do people, if they're interested in your your art or your books, um, where do people find you? Well, they can find me at my website, www.avivareed.com, or at Esk Studio, which is in Charles Street, six, sixty-seven Charles Street. Yep. And um, all this is there and more, and yeah. Okay, wonderful. Thank you for your time this afternoon and Cheers. enjoy what's left of it. There's not too, much, too long left left. Yeah, awesome. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, I'm here with Janice Raw at Art in the Paddock. And uh, so you were saying you make poetry out of existing literature. Yeah, that's right, yeah. Um, usually I make uh, books, like full books. Uh, I paint each page uh, looking for words to associate together to make a new text. Uh, but for this event, I made a selection of uh, individual pages from a children's book. Okay. Yeah, well, that sounds like interesting, interesting work to do. Yeah, very, yeah, very and much fun. so. Yeah, yeah, it's really fun. Uh, I call it intuitive uh, writing. It's uh, similar to things that the surrealists have done, for instance. You know, of uh, trying to find new meaning out of uh, things that are already existing. Yeah. And uh, I don't know, maybe you'd like to play the question and answer game, which is a, a very surrealist game. Okay. You, pick a, you pick a question. You want me to do that now? Yeah, sure. Okay, so I pick a question. Pick a question. <laughs> what is passion? Uh, well, it's p particularly suited to this, to this event, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> now, There's a lot of passionate people here. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. That's really right. Uh, and now you and pick now the answer. And now I pick an answer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's repetition. Ah, I like that. <laughs> yeah. I think poetry that's is a, a repetition. Bit, a bit sur surreal? Yes, that's right. Yeah, surreal is, uh, is very uh, much the spirit of my work. You know me, I love the surrealist. I am French, so I have this connection. How long have you been in Australia? Uh, I've been here for now seven months. Oh, okay. And yeah. that, all that time in the Clarence Valley? Yes, yes, that's right. And how long have you been doing um, the, the poetry for? Uh, this format I started uh, six years ago. I make one book every year. Uh, but because there was this event, like I said, I, I wanted to make special pieces. So yep. I made this uh, from a different book, like just okay. individual pieces. But yep. usually I get into a full book. So the camera probably <laughs> can't see, but behind us we've got um, books under glass. So what you're saying is it's like a, a book of poetry. That's, uh, it's a, this is a novel. Yep. And, uh, you can, but each, uh, each page, and it, each it was page, originally a full novel, yeah. but you've turned it into That's a right. book of poetry. Yeah. Each page is painted, and this specific piece is uh, one million dollars. Wow. That's right. But I guess if it's taking you, if you're doing one book a year... Mm. Yeah, I think it's a very reasonable price. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and um, so how have you found Nimboida? Oh, it's uh, a very inspiring, wonderful uh, community, very, uh, very friendly people here, very, very creative and very passionate, like yep. you said. Absolutely, absolutely. And you have got to check out Rod's work. Yes, we're interviewing yeah, Rod yeah. next. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and um, so where can people find you on social uh, media? Yeah, I have a, <laughs> I have a website. <laughs> okay, so let's see. It's what? Bobo Soul. Uh, B -A -U -B -O, Bobo. B a u b o, soul. Yeah, a Bobo is the is the god is the belly goddess that uh, showed her female parts to um, to Demeter when she lost her daughter to the to the god of hell to make her laugh. She okay. did that and it worked. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a um, kind of a spirit of mischief and um, yeah and humor and fe and femininity as well. So. <laughs> yeah, so that, that's your website, and yep. um, have you got Facebook, Instagram? Uh, f not really, no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I tried, but honestly, I couldn't be bothered. Oh, sometimes to keep it's it up. too much work, yeah, isn't it? <laughs> that's right, I couldn't be bothered to keep it up, to be honest. But, uh, you know, like, yep. I have a website and, a, and an e email address that you can contact me on. Yep. <laughs> okay, wonderful. Thanks for your time today. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. 
can't think. It's furniture cabinet maker, very specialised. His works are so smooth. Just looking at them, oh, so smooth. Um, so how long have you been uh, making furniture? All Just right. put the microphone up. Sorry. <laughs> uh, since early 80s. Yep. So that's a long time. I'm very old, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I remember the early 80s, so you're not that oh, old, okay? You, like... Good night. You'd have been in a nappy in the early 80s. <laughs> no, I wasn't. Um, yeah, so we've got some of your beautiful pieces here. Thank you. And, um, yeah, so we've got some lovely room dividers. Yes. And um, would you like to tell us about this piece? This particular piece? Well, this particular piece is, uh, it's a quirky little piece, yes. right? This is a quirky little piece. This, this is Adam and Eve. Okay. So the piece is called Adam and Eve. The piece is called Adam and Eve because I saw one day in these two pieces of wood, Adam and Eve mm. spoke. So can you see Adam and Eve? Can you see Adam and Eve? And so we've got the, the snakes up here in the corners as well. It's Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden. Yep. At the moment of creation. Yep. Adam is still not quite fully formed. He's still he's still animal. Eve is still not quite fully formed either. She's still coming down from the heavens, basically. Um so yeah, quite so, a quirky, somehow, interesting piece. So, <laughs> how you make a cabinet out? I don't know how it turned into a cabinet either. And also, there's, there's uh, the, uh, uh, the stakes in the Garden of Eden as well. Um, so, from Adam and Eve, <laughs> I guess I just had to create a cabinet. Yep. To and again, so smooth. That's beautiful wood. It's mm. beautiful wood. And wood... Mm. Is made to be touched, yeah. made to be felt. That's that, that's the most. I want it to be sensual. This this is like not. It's hard to bring a little bit of erotica into furniture. You know? <laughs> <laughs> that's what I wanted to See, do, right? To make an, an erotic piece of furniture, I think was mainly. Uh, yeah. Once once you saw it, you went, "How can I utilise it?" Yeah. Once I okay. saw. Adam Just and Eve. Lift the mic. Sorry, up. mate. Sorry. I'm, sorry. I'm not yeah. sure how much it's yeah. picking up. That's oh, that's all, all right. Yeah. Not much, I hope. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's um, yeah, lovely. Um, and um, some room dividers. And what's the front? This piece over here. That. Let's head over here. That piece what's there. What's the front of that? That's front, really interesting. It's awesome, isn't it? That's a piece of French handmade glass. French handmade glass. French handmade glass. Yes. Love the beautiful colours in it. Um, I. And the cabinet was made for an exhibition uh, a little while ago, um, Birds of the Clarence. Right? It was a mixed exhibition at the gallery. Oh, yes, I can see the yes. birds. Yes, so it's called Brolga Dawn. Right? So I saw Brolgas in here in the glass. See, that's, yep. that's, that's how it came. Um, I found the piece of glass in Brisbane sitting on its own, like it was, it was a, an exhibition piece of glass. And I thought, I've got to have that piece of glass. That's <laughs> got to go somewhere. I know that feeling. <laughs> it's got to go somewhere, right? So, yeah, it worked out really good that this exhibition came up. And it's it's actually another little cabinet that... Oh, yes. Yes, it's ancient red cedar, this mm. little cabinet. Mm. It has a little secret in there, too. <laughs> yeah, little secret little boxes. Little secret. Yeah, mm. yeah. Yeah, yes. it's beautiful. So, um, how many hours a week do you spend on your craft? Too many? Too many. Too many. Oh, not, I, uh, all my life I spend yep. on my craft. Excellent. Yeah. Hey, if it, if it makes you happy, why not? That's right. That's right. Mm. It's a labour of love, of course. Yeah. Yeah. And you know what has been so good today? Is how much people do appreciate have appreciated it. It's yep. been great, mate. Yeah, yeah. I love it when people come up and go like that. And, they, and you can yep. just see looking at them. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best. That's yep. the best. That's what makes it all worthwhile. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um, so if people want to see more of what you do, um, have you got a website, social media? How can people find you? They can't. Oh, they right. can't. And you like it like that. That's exactly right. <laughs> <laughs> we're not actually very far. We're, we're only just 
up. My workshop is at the top of the hill. Okay, so I was going to say when you said they can't find you, I said so yeah. they've just got to drive out to Nimboida right. and ask someone where you are. That's exactly about right. Okay, okay. so yes, if you want to it's, see it's... more of Rob Teacher's work. <laughs> <laughs> but we are building a gallery. Yep. A small, off the side of the workshop. We've got it all built. It's all there, ready to go. Uh, it would be going now only for the fire, which um, yep. would slow things down a little bit. But... Yeah, so people will be able to find us okay. easier soon. Yes, so they can come out for a, a day trip out to Nimboida, yeah. have a picnic and uh, enjoy the scenery out yes. here and pop in and have a look at your gallery. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, that's what I'd love. Great. Yeah. Thanks yeah. for your time today. That's my And pleasure. enjoy the rest of your afternoon. Thank you, mate. Thank you. Thank you. Nice to meet you. You too. Rod. Right. Leah. Leah. <laughs> I'm here with Wendy Tanner, and um, she's, I don't know, do you call this blacksmithing or what, what oh, do you Oh, no, call no. This? My husband's a blacksmith. I'm a mosaic artist. Okay. But I use lots of different materials in my mosaics. Mm, yeah, it looks like that. <laughs> it looks like, um, yeah, I can see keys, I can see coins, I can see nails and screws. It's amazing. Pretty funky. <laughs> Pretty funky, yes. And... Um, yeah, so how long would a piece like this take you? Oh, uh, a few hours by the time I have to, I cut it out of a tile, see like that. Okay, so it's got a tile on the back. And then I glue all the bits on and then I have to clean it and grout it. But just finding the right pieces for the different parts, like this one here's my, my memorial, Queen, Queen Lizzie Memorial. Oh yes, we've got the crown and yes. some jewels <laughs> queue there and, and some of the queens. Coins, yeah, coins yeah. there as well, yeah. Yeah, Colin collects coins so he gave me come of some of his Queen Elizabeth coins to put in it. Mm. <laughs> mm. Um, we've got watch face there as the head. Yeah, time flies. Time flies. <laughs> <laughs> that's good, that's good, yeah. Another one up here with lots of keys and again a, a brooch and looks like some buttons or stuff to, yeah. to add a bit of People give me stuff. I used to just go into Collins Shed and pick up bits and pieces, washes, and then I started <laughs> collecting more stuff, you know, going to garage start, sales and things. Did he start saying something's missing? <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then people give me stuff now. So, you know, I just sort of, old bits of jewellery and things, you know, like one a earring or something like that. You lose that. one, you yeah. lose the other. Yeah. So how long have you been um, doing the, the mosaic artwork? Oh, probably 10 or 15 years, actually. Yeah, yeah. So I used to do more with ceramic and crockery, broken tiles and things. Oh, yes. So this is just something a bit different that I have branching out. That's right, yeah, something a little bit original. Yep. And yeah, I, we started actually because we were going to this festival in Lithgow called um, Iron Fest, and it was like a steampunk festival. Oh, yes. And the blacksmiths were doing their blacksmithing, you know, and stuff there, and I thought I needed something a bit more steampunky. Yep. And so then that's why, how I started doing these ones. <laughs> yeah, it's something a little bit different, isn't it? Yeah. And um, so if people like the look of your birds and so on, how do people find you? Bellow Market. We're at Bellingen Market every month. Yep. And um, wander around and look for Colin's blacksmithing stuff and my birds. Yep. Okay, <laughs> excellent. And um, so Facebook, Instagram, any of that or just the market? No, not really. Yep. No, it's not, it's not a business. School. It's just kind of a, a, um, a, a hobby. hobby that you're hoping will pay for itself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Okay. So excellent. Bellingen Markets. Yeah. So, okay. Wonderful. Thank you for your time. You're welcome. And enjoy the rest of your afternoon. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 <laughs> I'm here with Julianne Gosper. And Julian is a, an artist that's out here. Looks like you're mainly a, a painter. Yes, painter of many mediums, yes. Yes, and I love the colours that you're what? using. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's quite bright and colourful, yes. Yes, there, there's a gorgeous Waratah over there and, yep. and some black cockatoos here in the background. I'll get to them in a minute. Yes, OK. How long have you been painting for? Um, probably about 30-odd years. OK. So, yes, since I was quite young and I'm actually an art teacher at a local school. So OK. Yeah. Do you want to give a shout-out? Which Yeah, school that's Macaulay Catholic College. OK. So, yeah, I teach with the disability students out there, um, art classes, so yeah. enrichment programs. So. Oh, that's that sounds lovely. Yeah, it is. It's a really very, awesome. Very fulfilling sort of 
very fulfilling and great very, way to use your passion yes exactly and the kids are wonderful and amazing and what they produce is awesome so yeah it's really good really yeah. good fun so very yeah, lucky no that sounds it cool. very lucky and um okay so it looks like we've got a, a predominant, a lot of Australian native sort of uh, influence here. Yes, but um, but in there particular. are some dogs and and a few domestics domestic. around. Yes, but mainly uh, I live on a couple of acres uh, just outside of Grafton. Yep. So we're surrounded not by these birds, but by a lot of the birds that I draw uh, in our front yard and our backyard. And that, it's so. a fantastic thing about this area, isn't it? We've got some. We're lucky. Birds. We are very, very lucky. We just got to keep those Indian miners down. Yes, definitely. <laughs> yes. Now, yep. I wanted to ask you about this one because yep. I love this. I walked past earlier and saw it. Yeah. And it just looks like that that cockatoo there is going off at the other one. Yeah. Well, that's so they're palm cockatoo. So they're from Cape York and Papua New Guinea. And this guy is a prolific drummer, so he has his own little drum beat that he attracts his female to. And if she likes his little drum episode, she's in. Okay. <laughs> yep. And okay. He, so he's it, not cranky. It's no, his, he's not it's cranky. His, um, he's excited. It's his mating dance. He's excited. Yes. Okay. He's very excited, and she doesn't look quite so excited. <laughs> but she's, she's getting there. She's still. <laughs> she's interested. She needs yeah. a bit more interest yet. Though. <laughs> yes. Maybe he's not drumming fast enough. Maybe I don't know. <laughs> oh, but yeah, dude. they're very amazing birds, actually. Yeah. yeah okay. So, yeah. And um, so. If people are interested in your artwork, yes, where did they find you? Um, mainly Instagram, so it's JulesArt16 on Instagram. Um, I haven't got a web page at the moment, so that's probably the best place to find me. Okay. It's pretty easy to find me. So Wonderful. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for your time today. Thank and you very much. enjoy the rest of your afternoon. Yeah, thank you very much. Thanks. <laughs> thank you. I'm here with Jackie Overington, and uh, she's a potter and that's sculptor. Correct. Yes. So Thanks how for long have talking you been? To me. Oh, you're welcome. How long have you been doing potting and sculpting? 25 years, and at that time, 25 years ago, I was a young mum with young kids, and at the night time when the kids were in bed, I needed something to do, and I did a few courses in pottery. You used needed to be something pottery. to do. Well, at seven that's, o'clock they were in bed asleep, <laughs> and I had to fill my time. Yep. And that's what. Um, I that's did. I learnt pottery and at night they'd go to bed and I'd get a wheel and I'd sit on the wheel and I'd throw bowls and I'd build sculptures. Then my kids got into it and they got older and we did it okay. together. So over 25 years that's that's where I started and this is where I am now, making sculptures. Did you them. ever get carried away once you started? They were in bed and you'd get started. Did you ever get carried away and next thing you know it's like, oh, it's oh, yeah. 2am or... Well, that it happens because they take a life of their own. You start making it and you think, i just got to get the nose on, I've just got to get the ears in or whatever it is and you can't go to bed till it's finished. And you can look at it and say, <laughs> oh, he's done or she's done or, yeah, exactly. Yeah, it I happens. can imagine like once they're yeah. in bed and you get started it would be yeah, yeah. like... But I do that obsessed. now too, like yep. at midnight and Tim will say, are you coming inside and I'm still down in the studio or whatever? No, I'm busy. <laughs> oh, dear. I love it. Okay. So, um, yeah, you've got – so this piece here I noticed, it's quite um, rough looking. So what what's that made, like the, the texture? This is what's... a BRT clay, so it's got a lot of um, s r sort of um, – it's almost stone a coarse light. sand. Yeah, it's got iron in it. When you fire it to stoneware, which is what this is done, so it's very hardy, very resilient, but all the little beads of iron and everything, they come to the fore. So yep. it depends on the clay you use on the finish you get. These are a different sort of clay, so yeah, you get a different much finish. smoother. Yeah, it's a bit of science behind it. It's a chemical thing, clay and um, glazing. It's got chemical reactions to the clay you use, the colours you use. So mm. there's a bit of learning that goes behind that. Mm. And um, what, what's your inspiration? Nature, mm -hmm. wildlife, animals. I just think the world should be a certain way and sometimes you see things that don't sit right and I can sculpt that, but then I see things that sit right with me and I can make a beautiful thing. So, mm. yeah, I'd say Mother Nature is my inspiration yep. for all things. Yep. And um, I'm part of an artist collective too at Iluca Emporium, okay. which is... Um, uh, gallery space. There's 15 different artists in there 
Then there's 15 different types of work you can see. So, and we all can exhibit and sell our work there. So I'm part of that as well. And our Luke is a great arts community as well. Mm. So I'm really fortunate. Being an artist, you can find lots of people with similar interests and they're all really friendly, easygoing people too. Mm. So. I'm really fortunate in that regard. Yeah, that sounds excellent. Yeah. So the uh, Iluca Emporium, that's the best place if anyone's interested in your work, that's the best place to find you? Absolutely. Iluca Emporium's got all my work for sale. Okay, excellent. Thank you for your time Thanks today. Thanks for talking to me. And it's enjoy been a pleasure. the rest of the afternoon. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot. I'm here with Rudy Kistler, another of the artists out in the paddock. And uh, you're a painter? I am. And how long have you been painting for? Uh, about 30 years now. Okay, that's a while then. Yes. <laughs> and um, so your inspiration, what do you like about painting? Oh, it's basically the, the images from my life. So I'm not a big picture taker. I've never have been. And um, my paintings are the landscapes that I've lived in, the portraits that I paint are the friends that I hang out with. Yep. And the still lives are the objects that surround me in my life. Yep. Excellent. Okay. I noticed you've got some fairly loud overalls on there. I do. These are they are, your creation as well? They're not. These are on my favorite pair and unfortunately over the years they've sustained some damage and at oh, the so last... it just gets mended to be louder each time. Well, so I, I, I run a chainsaw sculpture festival in Dundurban and I was wearing these and my knees were hanging out of the holes and stuff and so a lady, local lady, T Tony Honus, uh, does these kind of stitches and she asked if she could ma uh, mend them up for me. And yep. so she didn't charge me a dime, and she gave them back to me like this, and I just think they're fantastic. Yeah, yes. I thought maybe that it was another thing that you did and you got creative with it. No, nope, I hang out with a lot of creative people, and um, I was yep. just lucky that she saw me in my time of need, and she mended up all the weak spots yeah. and where my pocket knife rubs on, my, on them. She just, got, just did it all. Yeah, excellent. Anyway, um, so back to your paintings. Mm. Have you got a favourite piece or...? Uh, not really, but I mean... Each one of these has a story, right? So I live uh, about 40k south of, in Dundurban at the southwesternmost corner of the Clarence Valley. Yep. And um, so a lot of these um, are scenes from around there, the local swimming hole. Um, a lot of these are scenes from the drive when I drive into Dorigo. And some of the ones of the rainforest are literally in my backyard. Mm, sounds like a great backyard. It is great. Yeah, it's <laughs> great to be here. And um, how have you found today? Oh, it's great. It's um, like I said, I'm in the, the corner of the Shire, so I haven't really had a chance to travel around um, to the, the other bits and, and meet the other artists. So this is such a great place to come together and, and um, see each other's work and have a mm. bit of a chat about it. And the weather came out for us today. And I tell I you, the, the music has just been fantastic and just provided a wonderful backdrop to sit here and enjoy the, the day. Yeah, it has, hasn't it? And mm. with the weather we've had, it was, yeah, today's <laughs> been good. It was a nail biter, yeah, for sure. Yeah. And uh, how long have you been in the Clarence Valley? Um, this will be my fifth year. So, yeah, I moved up from Goulburn in 2017-18. Okay. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. Anyway, thank you. Oh, where can people find you? So, my name is Rudy Kistler. I'm on Instagram. I'm on uh, Facebook. I'm the only Rudy Kistler in the world. So, just throw it into Google and you'll wow, find me. Wow, in the world. That's good. It is pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, thank you for your time today. Thanks Enjoy for coming Enjoy the rest out. of your afternoon. Cheers. I'm here with another of the artists at the Art in the Paddock, Kurt Edwards. Um, would you like to tell us about your artwork and what inspires you? Um, yeah, mainly, well, I suppose I'm inspired by the landscape um, and other artists, but mainly landscape. Um, painting on site is one of my passions mm. when I can get out on site. Yeah. yeah. So uh, rather than taking a photo and sitting in a studio, you like to be yeah, out there in it, yeah, feeling it. Yeah, yeah. But at least if I don't have the time to paint, um, at least do some sketching on site yep. and then work a, up a work from that mm, mm. and use photos as references as well. So yeah. mainly watercolour or what, no, what medium um, do you, you like to use? Well, I do use watercolours in some of the small ones that you can see here, yep. um, but also oil paint. Yep mainly and a few acrylics as well yeah yeah a little bit of mixed media but yeah generally yeah. sort of landscape yeah. um, oriented yeah. and um how long have you been in the clarence valley uh, we've lived over here for 13 years yep yeah last 13 moving from alice springs we're out there for 17 years and oh I that's a, a big of, change yeah 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 <laughs> we did normally i'm uh, sorry previously live on the north coast up near byron before yep. we moved 
out down to Victoria and out to Alice. But yeah, it's sort of a big round trip and back. Oh, well, sounds like you've seen a lot of Australia then, yeah, so yeah. you've got a lot of places that could inspire yeah, you. Yeah, and that sort of shows through some of the paintings here, I suppose, from mm. out west to the mm. coast. Mm. Yeah. And um, if people want to see more of your work, uh, um, where can they find you? Instagram, yep. Kurt Edwards Art, um, Facebook as well, Kurt yep. Edwards Paintings, I think it is. Um, yeah, and I'll get some in the cold. Coldstream Gallery at some stage, mm. yeah, but that's um, okay. I don't have anything locally at the moment showing, but uh, yep, working yeah. on it, working on it, yeah, okay, <laughs> no worries, okay, great, thanks right. for your time today, okay, thank you, thank you, see you guys.